Residents of southwest Missouri woke up Wednesday morning to flooding as a river in Pulaski County flooded. Video shows several vehicles stuck in water and buildings surrounded by torrential flooding. Alan Hillard, a resident of Devil's Elbow, said that, within about three to four hours went from not flooding to 20 feet above the roadway. According to the Springfield, Missouri Office of the National Weather Service, flooding of rivers, streams, and creeks was considered likely following days of heavy rain. I mean, we had rain that night and the next day, but it wasn't anything abnormal. But all this is from, from the southern part of the state. Talking to my neighbors, they live down by the river, and uh, the water within about three to four hours went from not flooding to 20 feet above the roadway. Oh, there's some more red. Anything that's red, it's mine. Got red hanging over there in the tree. Donald Trump was elected the 47th president of the United States on Wednesday, an extraordinary comeback for a former president who refused to accept defeat four years ago, sparked a violent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, was convicted of felony charges and survived two assassination attempts. With a win in Wisconsin, Trump cleared the 270 electoral votes needed to clinch the presidency. The victory validates his bare-knuckle approach to politics. He attacked his Democratic rival, Kamala Harris, in deeply personal, often misogynistic and racist, terms as he pushed an apocalyptic picture of a country overrun by violent migrants. The coarse rhetoric, paired with an image of hypermasculinity, resonated with angry voters, particularly men, in a deeply polarized nation. As president, he's vowed to pursue an agenda centered on dramatically reshaping the federal government and retribution against his perceived enemies. Donald Trump has won the battleground state of Georgia, the one-time Republican stronghold that had voted for Democrats four years ago. Along with his win in North Carolina, Trump has narrowed Kamala Harris's pathways to victory and expanded his routes to reaching the 270 electoral votes needed to become the next president. The victory left Harris heavily reliant on the Blue Wall of Michigan, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin to have a credible path to the White House.
the five yard line, maybe even the one yard line. A second battleground state has now been called for Donald Trump. The AP says Donald Trump is the winner in Georgia, getting its 16 electoral votes. That comes after Trump was also declared the winner of North Carolina's 16 electoral votes. That sent the crowd that had gathered at a Kamala Harris party here in Washington fleeing for the exits. Now, her campaign chair came out and told people there are still too many races, too close to call, too many votes to count, and that the vice president would not appear. All those words eerily similar to one spoken at Hillary Clinton's 2016 party before she lost to Donald Trump. The Harris campaign says she will address the nation later. Donald Trump was set to address his supporters in Florida. So still a very long night ahead of us, but uh, for the folks here at the Sam Brown Watch.